MrsSperry.com presents Understanding Symbolism in Lord of the Flies, Characters as Symbols. Whatever chapter we are reading, we have to remember that Lord of the Flies is an allegory, a work where the characters are symbols used to represent a human characteristic. The boys are symbols. Ralph symbolizes civilization and order. Piggy represents science and intelligence. Jack represents wildness and violence. Each of the three characters also represents a part of human personality. Ralph represents the superego, the part of personality that uses the learned values and beliefs of a society to control that person's instinct. Piggy represents the ego, the part of personality that uses a person's understanding of reality to control instinct. Jack represents the id, the part of personality that is primitive instinct. More characters as symbols. Simon is also a symbol. He represents goodness and caring. He is also like Jesus because he tries to learn and teach the truth but becomes a sacrifice. Roger is a symbol of evil, a devil not as powerful as Satan but someone who truly enjoys evil. Names as symbols. Piggy's name is also a symbol. It makes the reader see that he is like the real animal pigs on the island because he is weak, has asthma, and can be hunted and attacked. The island. The island symbolizes the whole world. The island is like the Bible's Garden of Eden. At first, the island and the garden are wonderful places with beauty, food, and peace. Humans, though, make terrible mistakes in both places. In Lord of the Flies, the boys become killers before adults come to take them off of the island. In the Bible's Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve disobey God and are forced to leave paradise. The Plane Crash and the Scar The plane crash is the symbol that shows that human civilization has fallen. The boys have left England to try to escape an atomic war. The scar the plane makes on the island symbolizes the evil of humans, an evil that can destroy the human's own planet. Humans are like the snake in the Bible's Garden of Eden because humans are destroying paradise. Clothing, Painted Faces, and Hair Clothing represents civilization. When the boys take off their clothes, they also begin to leave civilized behavior behind. Painted faces symbolize the boys' increasing wildness and their loss of a sense of responsibility. Being civilized requires people to take responsibility for their actions. The paint masks or covers up their civilized faces and makes it easier for them to do evil things. Hair is also a symbol because as each boy's hair grows, so does his wildness. Ralph complains about how long his hair is getting. It gets in his eyes. This symbolizes Ralph becoming more like Jack, more savage. Ralph cannot see well because of his hair, and he cannot hold on to civilized behavior because he cannot see how to keep civilized order. The conch shell. The conch shell is another symbol. It represents civilization and order. We know that because Ralph and Piggy discover it, use it to call the other boys to them, use it to call assemblies, and use it to show whose turn it is to speak. When reading, our job in each chapter is to see how the conch changes. When its color is strong, civilization is strong. When its color fades, civilized behavior fades, and savagery increases. When it breaks, civilized behavior disappears. Note, although I myself prefer the pronunciation of conch, Most dictionaries and professors prefer the pronunciation conch. Fire. Fire is another symbol. It represents both salvation, rescue and safety, and destruction. Ralph wants a signal fire so the boys can be rescued. Jack wants fire to cook the pigs he kills. Of course, Jack also wants fire because it gives him power. The boys will follow food and fire. When the signal fire is strong, the boy's hope is strong. When it goes out, their hope disappears and fear wins. When the fire is out of control, so is the boy's behavior. They become wild and savage. Piggy's glasses. Piggy's glasses are another symbol. 
When they are clear and strong, science and intellect are clear and strong. When they are broken, science and intellect weaken. When they are stolen, power moves from Ralph's group to Jack's group. We know that the glasses represent science and intellect because they were made as a result of science and knowledge and they are intelligently used to make fire. Little uns and older boys. The little uns represent people of the working class. The older boys symbolize people of the ruling class. The pig hunts. The pig hunts symbolize the evil within each boy. Their evil grows. At first, the boys find it difficult to kill living things. Then it gets easier. Some begin to enjoy killing. The dance. The dance symbolizes the need for humans to belong to a group and humans' desire to avoid responsibility. Even violent groups make people feel safer than being alone. The dance is savage and represents a mob mentality. The boys can act violently together and feel like they are not personally responsible for evil acts. The Imaginary Beast and the Lord of the Flies The imaginary beast represents the savagery and evil that is inside each human from birth. We know that the author believes this because it is the very youngest boys that first believe in a beast. Then, as the chapters continue, we see the older boys becoming more and more savage and their belief in a beast growing. Simon discovers the dead sow, the lord of the flies, the dead parachutists, and the truth, that evil comes from inside us, not outside, but he is not allowed to share what he has learned. The lord of the flies is a physical symbol of the beast and of Satan, the devil whose name in the Bible is also Beelzebub. The Lord of the Flies is the head of a dead mother cow that Jack puts on a sharpened stick. Jack thinks he is giving a beast a gift that will make it happy to leave the boys alone. But by killing the mother pig and putting her head on a stick, Jack has actually made a physical beast that represents the evil within himself and the other boys. It is this bloody head that is covered with flies that seems to speak to Simon when he goes to his favorite beautiful place on the island. Simon thinks he hears the Lord of the Flies telling him that evil is inside every human. Castle Rock Castle Rock symbolizes purgatory, the place where Catholic Christians believe that some people's souls go to before they go to heaven. In purgatory, the souls of people who will be allowed to go on to heaven are punished for past sins. There is great suffering that purifies, cleans the souls, and allows them to go on to heaven. Simon does not need to go to Castle Rock, purgatory, because his soul has no evil in it. He does not need a bridge from earth to heaven. The Sea or Ocean the sea, ocean, is a natural barrier that keeps the boys on the island, and it is also a symbol that represents heaven. The symbolic nature of the sea becomes clear in Chapter 9, A View to a Death. William Golding, the author, describes the ocean and what happens to Simon after he dies. The edge of the lagoon became a streak of phosphorescence, which advanced minutely as the great wave of the tide flowed. Along the shoreward edge of the shallows, the advancing clearness was full of strange, moon-beamed creatures. The tide smoothed everything with a layer of silver. Now it touched the broken body, and the creatures made a moving patch of light as they gathered. The water dressed Simon's coarse hair with brightness. The line of his cheek silvered, and the turn of his shoulder became sculptured marble. Somewhere over the darkened curve of the world, the sun and moon were pulling. The great wave of the tide lifted. Softly, surrounded by a fringe of inquisitive bright creatures, itself a silver shape beneath the steadfast constellations, Simon's dead body moved out toward the open sea. This passage, with its references to constellations, groups of stars, moonbeam creatures, and light, clearly shows angels taking Simon to heaven.